Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Well, good morning and thanks for joining us today. It is Friday, October 18th. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to your top stories, let's get a check of your forecast with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. How are things looking today? Well, it's not going to be as windy today, Chris, but the wind is still going to be with us, so we don't totally lose that. It'll be at a good 10 to 20 miles per hour today. Not quite as gusty as yesterday, but every now and then, the wind is still going to gust as high and maybe even over than 30 miles per hour in some of the higher elevations. Upper 40s, lower 50s in your eyewitness weather forecast. Windy, chilly will go from clouds to sunshine slowly this afternoon. Like I said, the wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour, but not as strong as what we had yesterday. 34 for the overnight low tonight. We'll wake up to some frost in some areas tomorrow morning, but the afternoon looks pretty good. Near 60, plenty of sunshine. It's a nice fall Saturday. Sunday, some cloud cover will mix back in. We're near 60. Monday at 68. Clouds continue to take over. Then some showers on Tuesday, Chris. Well, thanks, Stefano. There will be an increased police presence at a school district in Luzerne County today after a bomb threat. Wyoming Valley West School Board President confirms that a vote was, or a note rather, was found by a custodian in a desk at the middle school on Chester Street. Kingston police say that building was cleared after being searched by bomb sniffing dogs. While the threat has been deemed not credible, Kingston police say as a precaution, they will have extra police and security in place and metal detectors will be used. Berwick police say they are intensifying the investigation into the brutal assault of a woman that has left her struggling to survive. 30-year-old Michael Porth has been charged in connection with the assault of 51-year-old Geraldine Carson. Police say Carson was tied up and beaten beyond recognition inside her home on Walnut Street last week. Police are not ruling out the potential of a second arrest in this case. According to court papers, Porth blamed the assault on his brother. Well, thank you for joining us and have a great Friday.